Hey loves and welcome back to my channel. It is Ijoma here and in today's video, we are going to learn how to make this short corset gown with a bow sleeve. So I used two yards of Ankara for the gown itself and one, sorry, one and a half yard of doll face for the sleeve. So we are going to cut and sew this gown in this video so for the pattern i used the former pattern the former corset pattern that is the brack up method that is the pattern that i will use for this gown and the down part is just a straight corset so there is no point drafting all that now so here is the pattern this is the popular brack up method i have used this several times on this channel so i'll go ahead and cut it out on my ankara fabric and i'll also cut the skirt part so right now i'll go ahead and cut out my ankara pieces first of all that is the upper part so i added my allowance to the pattern itself so there is no point adding another allowance to it here so after cutting the main fabric out i'll also cut out the lining for it so i'll not be adding a soft comb and all that because i made this gown just for the sake of this tutorial so i have done cutting out the front and this is the rack up area i've cut out the front and the back this is the rack up area so i am folding my fabric four times so that i can cut out the circle for the brack up cover so i'll go ahead and measure a circle that is five inches or six inches for the length you can see what i'm measuring right now i'll go ahead and mark that and after marking that i will cut it out so after cutting it out i'll open it up so that you guys can see what we have so after cutting out this is what we have i'm trying to make the circle equal then i'll go i'll come down by one inch on each side of this circle one inch here and one inch there then i will connect to the center and from the center to the other one inch that i marked on the other side so if i open this up you will have four pieces here so two pieces for one bra cup and two pieces for the other bra cup this is what i will use to cover the bra cup if you want to use your combination of the doll face for the bra cup cover fine so right now i will cut out the doll face this is the doll face so i will fold you can see how i folded it now then the round shoulder my round shoulder is 44 so that means i will divide my round shoulder by two so divided 44 divided by two is 22 plus one in similar one that is 23 so the length of this door face will be 23 that will be the length and the wideness will be 12 inches or 15 inches depending on how wide you want it to be so if your round shoulder is 40 you divide that 40 by 2 that is 20 so you fold and measure 20 for the length that is for one bow then you go ahead and cut out the other bow because this dress has two bows one on the right side and one on the left hand side so you measure your round shoulder after measuring the round shoulder you divide by two and then you cut out two bows so that bow you cut it out on fold because it will not have any lining so i have my two bows right now this style is very simple i have my two bows right now i'll go ahead and add a hard gum to the two doll face i want it to be strong a bit so here is the skirt i am done with the skirt and here is the front part i'm done turning it out with my lining then i have my back part as well this is the bra cup i have not covered the bra cup so i will go ahead and cover my bra cup with this bra cup cover i have joined the bra cup cover already i have a video on how to make all they have a lot of corset videos so you can go and check any of them out so that is it for the front and here is the back the back has a zipper allowance i will not tie it at the back so this is the back part i'll go ahead and close my zipper allowance before shaping it with the front so i'll close it by like one inch, with like one inch and here is the door face i have added my hard gum one of one side of this door face is dirty but i'll still manage it then i'll go ahead and close the 
side like the open parts of this door face i'll go ahead and close all of them but i will leave like two inches or three inches space that is where i will turn out the bow from like you have to leave a space where you will turn out the bow from after turning so here is the back part i am done closing my zipper allowance and here is the front i have also covered my bra cup and i have joined the bra cup to its space so right now i will go ahead and take my bust measurement and my waist measurement so after taking the measurements i will go ahead and shape so after shaping it this is what i have i will trim out my half length like i'll have to trim from the shoulder to the half length so here is my half length i will trim it out and after trimming i will join the upper part of this gown and the lower part together so for now i will not advise you to add a zipper to this do not add a zipper to this for now i think you should fix your bow before adding the zipper so here is the skirt i want to trim the half length as well so after that i will join the upper part to the lower part so here is the bow i am done turning the sides and right now i will tie the middle with a piece i cut out a piece i used a doll face for that piece you have to gather it at the center i don't know many of us know how to make a bow so i have a pieces that i made for that center this is what i have you can use your ankara for this or you can use your dolphins to tie the middle or the center so you can see how i'm doing that right now so this is the piece you go ahead and place it at the center and then you can use your needle and thread to stitch it down but i use my sewing machine to stitch the back part of these pieces down so i'll go ahead and stitch it and then come back and show you guys so here is what i have i will go ahead and trim off the excess that i have there and that is it this is for one bow i'll repeat the same thing on the other bow and then we'll have to so after doing that you now go ahead and fix it around your neckline so remember you cut out this bow with your round neck measurement so that it will not be too loose so i advise fitting sha. if you are done sewing you go ahead and fit it very well that is your client to come and you will fit it on your client body before fixing the bow so here is the second bow i am done tying all of them at the center so right now i will introduce my gown and i'll go ahead and fix this bow on the gown so this is what i have it is so beautiful so here is the gown i am done joining the upper part and the lower part together then i will go ahead and pin down this bow you guys can see how i'll pin it down so you can see the upper part you pick the upper part of the bow and then you place it on the center you can see i'm holding the upper part of the bow then you place it on at the center and then you will pin down then you also introduce the other bow it will start from the center as well then you pin down and then you will take the end to the back you can see i'm holding the upper part of the back as well and you pin it around the zipper allowance you can see that this dress does not have any small sleeve so if you're making your corset make sure that it is very tight on the person's body so that it will not be pulling out but if you want to add a small sleeve you can go ahead and add a small sleeve though it is not necessary just use your accurate measurement make sure that the corset is very fitted on the person's body so that it will not be pulling out so you can see how i'm pinning this um bow down so after that i did my fitting and this is what i have i have not fixed my zipper i want to make sure that everything is okay so guys this is the end of this video after this you can go ahead and fix your zipper and the rest i want to remind you guys that our july online classes is still ongoing so you can register so thank you guys so much for watching my video please hit the notification bell so that anytime i upload a new video you will be 
did notify please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up as well and please subscribe please please subscribe to my channel so thank you guys and see you in my next video bye